Hello and welcome everyone to the Ultimate Badger Entertainment Show. Welcome to the Welcome to an amazing event. It's Sweet Shop on Rats, the crossover. Me, Epic Deadpool. We're going to be doing American Candy versus British Sweet. Right, first off, this is Wan Bars. I remember these from years ago and they look pretty much the same as well. Now, I don't know if Americans have this problem because looking at a lot of videos myself, a lot of them don't seem to have this problem, but with British sweets, they always tend to stick to the packet, which is annoying and gross and fiddly. But they are delicious. So here we are. It's like a pink fluorescent bar and it's got little bits of chewy poppy candy in, I believe. If it's the same as before. This always used to happen as well. As soon as you try and take a bite out of it, it just expands into this gooey mess of, I don't know what. Mm. Very nice though. Mm. Mm. While I'm doing this, I'm going to talk about plants and well. The <laughs> mm. mm. real taste explosion in your mouth. It's really setting off my um mm. Mm. Yeah, it's really making my mouth water. You know the bits of candy are hard but then the the um, the sweets like the um, is really sort of chewy as well, so that's really nice. Next is Candyland Flumps. I don't know if you guys remember Candyland. They used to be Barrett's, or are Barrett's now. Formerly Barrett's. Barrett's is like a really classic British company that was going for years and years. And for some reason, I don't know why, but they seem to have changed their name to Candyland. And Candyland can be featured in lots of pick and mix. Flumps are like a big long piece of marshmallow. So let's have a go. You know, that's really nice actually. <laughs> yes, the badger is a flump in one go. So, flumps, natural colours and flavours, fat free, fluffy mellow twist. There you go. So, that was from the company called Barrett's, now Candy Brand. Next, we're going to do Sherbet Fountains. Sherbet Fountains were around in the early 80s when I was a wee nipper, definitely. But, they were nothing like this. Now, they are in a plastic tube and the piece of licorice is, there we go, there, like this, and I believe Yep, you're meant to, I think it's meant to already still be on there. So the idea is if you push it in and out, then you have the licorice there. So you have the licorice and the sherbet, and you bite it like that. Mm. They must have changed it for health and safety reasons, because it used to be in cardboard tube, with a piece of licorice on the cardboard tube as well. Mm. Really nice, classic recipe it says on here. Classic recipe sherbet fountain by Candyland again, so formerly Barrett's. So I'm guessing there will be a lot of Barrett's food now. Mm. Very nice. I've eaten the whole of the licorice stick and now I've got some of the sherbet fountain. So. Mm. Mm. Classic. Nice, really old fashioned flavours. Really hits the nostalgia mark. Right? If you've been watching the Sweet Shop Unwraps video, you know that it's hard to find a nostalgic sweet. So, this is definitely one of them. Sherbet Fountain is fantastic. Of course, unfortunately, it's changed the pack design, but at least have kept the flavour the same. Next, we're going to do Midget Gems. I was never really a fan of these when I was a kid, but I picked them up just because I know they're a traditional British sweet. So let's have a look. 
There's an example, you've got the yellow one there. And you've got an orange one. And here's a few other ones. There we go. And let's try a few. Really soft and cherry. But midi and small. Next we're going to be doing refreshers. Let's have a look and see what this is like. This is one of my other favourite companies, Swizzles. The ones that we uh, reviewed the other week. So there you go. That is the refreshers bar, which is different to the refreshers candy pieces. But we'll go on to those in a little while. So once again, I'm having that annoying problem where the bar gets stuck to the wrap there. So here we go. This is what a refreshers bar looks like underneath. It's like a custard yellow refresher bar. Now, I remember these used to be rock hard, but for some reason these are really soft. I don't know it's because if they're at room temperature. But I remember them being tooth breakingly evil. But maybe they've trying to rest it. Still nice, but not the same bar as I remember. The bar from when I was a kid had a bit more kick to it. This is just a normal, boring, sweet reality. Nice, but... I remember it having a bit more kick to it. Next, we're going to be doing drumsticks. So this one is by Swizzles as well. Another classic company. There you go. So the drumsticks are in a yellow, red and green packaging. <coughs> Ruby's now eyeing up all the food. It wouldn't surprise me if we get our first Ruby bomb, guys. So this is what the lolly on a stick looks like with the chewy. See, this is more like I remember the bee. A lot thicker and harder to chew through. Good quality, but very hard to eat. It's very nice, but very chewy. Once again, we're going to have refreshers, but these are the natural colours and flavours, classic recipe, and they are the, what would you would call them, would be the hard tablets. There you go, that's what it says in the back. So these are hard tablet candy sweets from refreshers, and Candyland, and formerly Barrett's. So there's a lot of Barrett's and Swizzles stuff here I've seen. So if Barracks and Swizzles want to send me and Big Zephyr to Nom, go ahead. So first off we've got the pink refresher. These were quite fizzy I remember so we'll see what they're like. Mm. They're like a tablet so you not too hard, you can chew in. But the idea, oh my teeth, the idea is to Suck them until they go down. And you can't. Oh, I love it. It's used to. It's like with polos. I always used to chew them, even though you meant to just wait. You know, I was chewing. Mm. Mm. Next, we're going to be doing another dipping one. So this is dip dabs. Used to be called sherbet dip dabs. I don't know why they changed that. And this is once again a candy lane and Barrett's product. So, <laughs> the rest of that. They've changed the packaging slightly, it's got more of a plastic film to it now, which I suppose stops the product getting spoiled, because I remember it being like a normal cardboard. Well, let's have a look, the lollies seem smaller. Okay, 
The idea is you get the lolly, lift the lolly like that, and then you coat it in the sherbet butter. Now, So yeah, that's the lolly and the Sherbet Duke Bag Packet. Mm. Love them. Can't be leaving those in there, so cute. Next, we're going to be doing love hearts, which is, guess what, by Swizzles. So a lot of British sweets are made by Barracks and Swizzles. They're the main old fashioned classic company I'm guessing. So here we go. Love hearts were a very iconic sweet in the UK and um, you know they're still quite popular you see them on t-shirts and things like that the idea is that I'll put a photo down there of a few examples and a few bits of film but the idea is that it says first love so it's nice little messages of different things underneath like first love and I think they've modernised them a while ago so you'll get cheeky ones as well now so just let me open a few, I'm going to give a few examples. So you've got Bless You, which is a bit cheeky I guess. Uh, we've got First Love again, which is, you know, we've already had that. Let's try and rip in a bit more, we'll get some other ones. Yours Forever, we've got there. I know you guys can't see, I'll take some filming a bit and put it underneath. And you've got Love Bug as well. So, these ones here again, I like a tablet sweet, but these are a bit more chalkier than the refreshers. A bit more bite to them. Mm. But still a very good quality product, I would say they're very much a tablet. Mm. Very crunchy, but nice. Mm. Right. Next we're going on to Candyland, so much against Barrett, Aperin Now these have got what I would call a Bassett's All Salt on the top. So you've got like a licorice All Salt in the middle there. There you go, I'll move it a bit closer. So you've got a licorice All Salt there in the middle and you've got a winding licorice. So I wouldn't go for these unless you really like licorice because it's basically licorice with more licorice. Mm. Yep, I used to love the ones that's got the, uh, the little bubbles on. Another example. But these ones were my favourite licorice all sorts of all time. The ones in the middle there. They're really nice because they they taste really sweet. They're not quite like the traditional licorice for that. But, and that's a full windy licorice, I guess. You could unwrap it and have a little bit at a time. Mm. Licorice can be very strong, very strong flavour, but it's really nice. Next, we're going to be doing Kinder Surprise, and we're going to be doing the Avengers one. So I'm just going to see if these taste like what I was a kid. I think they do, I've done a few lately. And they have sort of matched up to the original recipe. Yeah. So here we go. That's what the Kinder Shell looks like without the wrapper. And in the bar, that's what it looks like half. Wow. Mm. Even after the liquid, it really tastes nice. Let's see what toy you get. Oh, there we go. Damn, I've already got one of these. We've got a Hulk. Which is cool, mate. I could always do another Hulk. Yep, so there you go. There's the Hulk. Let's move on to our next one. Which is the Kinder Surprise Disney Princesses one. There we are. So, it's got pink and white and red 
the back thing to symbolise girls, whereas of course the Avengers one had blue for boys and pink for the girls. And that's, I suppose, an old fashioned idea, but it helps keep the tradition of the sleeve, so, you know, if they want to keep it up, power to them. I think those sorts of things actually empower the brand and they're part of the brand. Let's open her up. There we go. That be rude not to. More. Let's have a look. This looks like a little ring. So it's like a ring stand. That's interesting. Okay. So let me know what you guys thought of these lovely delicious sweets. I've had a ball making today's episode. And now it's over to the immortal James Ball to cue in Pink Deadpool. And now it's time for the fattest co host, Pink Deadpool. Give him a warm welcome, Batatiers. Hello, Internets. I'm Bink Deadpool, and I'm showing the American half of the candy t t today. I've got all different kinds of candy in front of me. I got goofy, goofy goobers. I got red hots. I got hot tamales. I got everlasting gobstoppers. Sour Patch Kids, Runts, Snow Caps, Junior Mints. A lot of these are just American staples. Pretty much. I, I'm noticing now, the, the looking through my candy though, um, I got a lot of Wonka. A lot of Willy Wonka candy. Mainly, uh, let's see, the Gobstoppers are Wonka, the Bottle Caps are Wonka, and uh, I thought I thought Runs were Wonka also, but I, nope, they're Nestle. I'm wrong. <laughs> but most of this candy can be found at your local theater. And if it can't, it can be found in your local Walgreens if you're in America. If you're in Britain, I'm not really sure where you could find any of this. Badger? Well, Chad, we can mostly get these fantastic American sweets from local te Tesco's, Asda, big supermarkets, and of course up London, places like Lakeside, which is our versions of the big malls, places like that. But of course, unfortunately, because of import taxes and things like that, Annoyingly, the prices have risen! So there you go. So, I'm going to start off with one of my least favorite candies out of what I've got. I'm going to start with the Sour Patch Kids, which my roommate, uh, Mechakami Guru, who I call, I call him Mechakami Guru, he loves these Sour Patch Kids. So, what do we got? Oh, look, it's got its own little bag, so I can just do that with the box. <laughs> I won't do that with the box. I need the box. So, as you can see, they're multicolored sour gummies. So, I'm going to pull one out. Hopefully, I grab one that's a flavor that I don't hate. I'm going to grab this red one. This Sour Patch Kid. First, they're sweet. I thought it was supposed to be first. Oh, there it is. There is a tower. Oh. Okay. It's not bad. A little sour. I'm not really big on sour. Well, thank you, phone. It's a little bit sour. And I'm not really a big fan of sour. But... It's good, good nonetheless. It's good stuff. I only have one because I don't want, I got, I've got like nine boxes to go through, so. I'm gonna go with, we're gonna pick up the runts now. Which, runts are pretty much a fruity candy, fruity hard candy. They've got all different kinds of different flavors, fruity flavors. So let's crack open the box. Crack open the box. And, oops, too many, way too many. Oh no, it dropped the banana. Oh well. 
Yeah, as you can see, as you can tell, it's hard candy. So there we go. There's a variety of different pieces of runt. Can you see it? Can you see it? Good job. But let's see. I think the hearts are strawberry. Yep, they're strawberry. Mm. Oh god, it's been so long since I had runs. My favorite flavor out of the runs, though, is the banana. The banana. Banana is actually one of my favorite flavors of anything. Oh, um, um, I love runs. I love the runs. Next on my list, I got hot tamales. Uh, fierce cinnamon flavored candy chews. Two candies. So let's pop this box open. Let's see. Okay, they look like. Would you like the red pill? <laughs> it's. The red pill will take you to a hot tamale. The other red pill will also take you to cinnamon deliciousness. So. Hot tamales are pretty much a spicy cinnamon candy. They're chewy also, so I don't have to actually suck on them like a hard candy. So that's cool. That's another flavor I've always enjoyed. That's cinnamon. Like cinnamon gum and stuff too, usually. It's good. Good stuff. Let me check that freaking message. I bet, I bet that message was freaking badger tail yep this is badger hi badger <laughs> I'm texting you right now on Facebook next on my list staying with the cinnamon theme I've got red hots red hots are also another cinnamon flavored candy but they're little hard candies and my distinct memory of these is actually using these around Christmas time in an elementary school or I believe it'd be called primary school in Britain in England but yeah they're hard candy I can't fight into them but they're pretty much little yeah, can you see little little uh, red pellets not even pellets they're like little dots red dots they're cinnamony they're nice, but what we used to do with these around Christmas time is we'd make uh, gingerbread houses, and we'd use these as uh, pretty much decorations, as well as several other types of candies and stuff. Hmm. I forgot how good Red Hots were. crush it in my mouth. Four down. Five to go. You're a goofy goober. I'm a goofy goober. We're all goofy goobers. Goober goober goo. That's for, that's for all you guys. You like my song? It was good. I thought it was good. Uh, uh, of course, you know it's good candy when they have a wrapper over your wrapper so that you can wrap while wrapping. Woo! So, Goobers, made by Nestle. Nestle, if you'd like to give me things, I would highly appreciate it. Yeah, Goobers are pretty much, essentially, uh, chocolate-covered peanut candies, which are mm, awesome. I love my Goobers. I love my Goobers. Oh, no! I almost lost a Goober. And see, there's little chocolate candies with peanuts inside of them. Let's see if I can bite one. There, see? I got a little peanut inside. Oh! Oh, I dropped my peanut. Oh. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Another one that's wrapped up. Mmm. Extra wrapping because it's so amazing. 
snow caps. Not like the ones actually on the mountain, but they're supposed to resemble them. Semi sweet, semi sweet non parcel chocolates, little chocolate uh, morsels that have like little white sprinkle candies on them. Now, this is another candy that I actually have fond memories of uh, because. Oh, which movie was it? It was a Marvel movie that was not too long ago. A few years ago. I want to say... Fantastic Four? I want to say it was Fantastic Four, the second Fantastic Four movie. Um... Oh, man. Pretty much what happened was we went, me and some friends of mine went to go see the second Fantastic Four movie in the theater. Uh, little did we know that they were having a promotion with one of the local radio stations, a uh, R&B rap station, mind you, um, was doing some sort of freaking promotion, some sort of promotion with the, uh, the theater for that movie. Mm, um. Now, you have to remember, this is a comic book movie, so the theater is mostly inhabited by comic book geeks, comic book fanboys, nerds, you know. So, as this guy's pretty much trying to promote uh, his radio station, I'm sitting in the dark throwing snow caps at him. <laughs> I know, I'm bad, I'm a horrible person. And at one point, he freaking got up out of his seat like he was gonna do something. Mm. And he was like, Who do that snow cat? I'm just sitting there eating my snow cat. But anyway. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Next on our list, we have Junior Mint. Now, you can get mints pretty much anywhere. You know, but Junior Mints are chocolate covered minty goodness. Let's grab two of them. They're decent size, too. Ah, ah, I hit the mic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mike. See? Decent size, right there. Mmm. Oh. Creamy. Oh, it's creamy. The chocolate and the mint. They go so well together. It's awesome. Alright, last two on the list. Down to the final two. Bottle caps. These are my absolute favorite candy in the entire world. And if I lived somewhere that didn't have these, I would be mad. <laughs> to say the very least. But it has, uh, they're, so they're soda pop candies. You got root beer, cherry soda, grape soda, cola, and orange soda open up the box and trust me by the end of the day this this box will be gone gone all in my stomach hole but pour a few of them out um do that yeah grape in the cola but as you can see they're little little tart candies by the looks of it like sweet tarts almost, but uh, each one tastes like a soda, like the red ones here, they're cherry soda. Oh. And these are hard candy, so I have to actually bite into them. But, mm, they actually fizz in your mouth a little bit, which is cool. I like that feeling. That's not even my favorite flavor though. Cherry's a good flavor, but my absolute favorite flavor, flavor out of the bottle caps is the root beer. Mm, mm, mm. Alright, last candy on the list. The Everlasting Gobstopper. If anybody's watched Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory, not Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, but the actual Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. This is the candy that they were all trying to freaking get the 
recipe for. Or pretty much. But, you know, if you watch the story, if you watch the thing, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. But, it was all a ploy. It was all misleading. But anyway, pretty much, this is a candy, a hard candy, a very hard candy that I won't be able to bite into. So I'm just going to take one, put it in my mouth, because that's part of it. But there are jawbreakers that will change color and flavor as you get further into the thing. Just like they were portrayed in, in Willy Wonka and the, and the Chocolate Factory. The only problem is, it says that they're everlasting, they don't last forever. That's okay. That is A-OK -okay in my book. Ugh. So, that's all the candy I've got to show from, from America. 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 Alright. So, now that I've got this gobstopper in my mouth, I'm doing something rather silly. Maybe even stupid. I have at least one piece of all the candy that I've shown off, one of which is already in my mouth. And I'm going to put all of these pieces in my mouth. So that is a Junior Mint, a Goober, a couple of snow caps, a Hot Tamale Sour Patch Kid, Red Hot, a couple bottle caps, and a Banana Runt. So let's just get this over with. All. It's a flavor explosion in my mouth. Oh, I got your shower back, kid. I'm okay. I'm okay. Well, now that I got that all out of my mouth, blah, 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 blah. so this has been my half of the American candies versus British sweets video. So, vegetarians and badgerettes, what do you think? Was it Pink's American candy, or was it the Badgers' British sweets that won the day? Please comment below what you think. So, was it the American candy or the British sweets? Vote in the comments below. And now, back to Bink to wrap up the show. Be sure to check out the Bink Deadpool channel. I play various different video games there and do unboxing videos and usually whatever piques my interest. Uh, come join the fun because there's always like a video uh, every Wednesday and every Friday. So subscribe to both the Badger and Bink Deadpool since we're both a part of this. If you really like it and want to see more, subscribe and be on the lookout for more. I'm Bink Deadpool, and we will see each other in the next video. Till then, peace out! Thank you for watching today's smashingly, skippingly awesome, fantastic show. What? 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 Oh.